Web, what's happening? We are done. There is no plan for Manuel Ugate. Look, Arsenal signed Mikel Merino. We are here. We're not doing anything. La 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 la. Guys, come on. The bugs have been packed. Don't you see that? Bugs are packed already. Well, that was uh, probably some time back. But by now, we do know that Manuel Ugate should have already packed his bugs and ready to join Manchester United. Do you know why? Because the talks are so advanced and soon. I promise you a dance when this deal is 100% done. Meanwhile, the talks are on. Man United trying to tie down our best player, that is Kobe Maino, to a long contract. And guess what? He's excited about it. Talks are ongoing and they are so positive. These are the things you want to hear. Welcome to the United World Sport. My name is Webb. Like, share, and subscribe. It's been a long day, but yeah, it's been one of good progress when it comes to Man United and the players we want. Now, we do know that we're expecting bids to come in. Scott McTominay, bid from Napoli, is expected to come in. We expect a bid for Jadon Sancho. Where it will come from, we might be uh, you know, surprised where it could come from. It could be Chelsea, who are signing everyone and anyone. It could be Paris Saint-Germain. But expect a bid for Jadon Sancho to come in. But the bigger expectation is Manuel Ugarte. And I know lots of Man United supporters are now beginning to punch, to panic, because Arsenal have made a significant step in trying to sign uh, Mikel Merino. And I know, uh, Man United, I don't know why you all want to compare yourselves to small clubs. I don't know why Man United supporters want to, uh, to, to keep uh, lowering themselves down to the level of Arsenal. Well, they might be ahead of us lately, but we're a bigger club. We cannot be running at their pace. We are not them. So, listen, here's the things that are on a serious note. Uh, Manuel Ugate, the talks are advancing, and like I told you, uh, it is a matter of time. In the next hours, they are negotiating all parties involved, the agent, the clubs, the plan is to get him on loan with an obligation to buy. The money is expected to be over 50 million euros. Man United are saying, you know what, PSG, we, this is the player we need. Whatever it takes, we'll bring him. Whether you're overcharging us, we have nothing to do. For as long as you can allow us to come back to you with the money after the loan period. That is after a year, to be precise. That's exactly what Man United is, up, uh, is planning. And things seem to be shifting. Eric Ten Hag, speaking in the pre-match press conference before our next game, uh, was clear. He said, guys, you just be, you know, sit down, relax, and trust us. We know what we're doing. I love to see Eric Ten Hag speaking with that confidence, honestly. It shows you that he knows what's going on behind the scenes and he loves it. He seems to be more and more positive. He seems to believe more in his team. He seems to have a certain confidence in what Ineos has done and what they're doing. And honestly, for me, it's very important. Before, in the past season where we struggled, I thought Eric Ten Hag's body language was clearly for a losing coach, honestly. But I think things have changed. And right now, Eric Ten Hag looks like a coach ready to win competitions, trusting his team, believing his players, because he prayed for two players in each position. And trust you me, we're having that. Goalkeeper, left back, of course, the, the, the two might not be fully fit, but they will be. It's a matter of time. Central defense, I mean, there, there's going to be some tight battles for places in the central defense, by the way. You don't all realize how we are going to have competition between Mathis Delete and Lenny Yoro between Lisandro Martinez and Harry Maguire, with Harry Maguire putting on much of the, one of the match performances like he did against, uh, 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 against Fulham, you don't think he's going to be rotting on the bench. So serious competition for all the guys there. Then we do know that on the right, Nusari Madroy and Diogo Dalo in the middle, Gate comes in proper competition with Casemiro. Then we go, uh, Kobe Maino, well, uh, that one has no competition. <laughs> there is no competition for Kobe. Let's not get it twisted. There is no competition for Kobe. Bruno, maybe a bit of competition for Mason Mount, but we also know that I mean that's that's unbalanced. Uh, but then up front, Ahmad on the on the right competition with Antony, then G G G uh, Rashford himself, then uh, uh, Ganacho on the left uh, competition with Zakzi, but even Rashford. Then up top, we've got the number nine in Rasmus Hoyland competition with uh, uh, Shido Obi Martin. Man, guys, it's going to be raining, raining battles at Carrington. These, these training sessions, I think, Man United needs to do us a favor. Imagine we bring in all these players, best summer transfer window. I mean, and Ineos, this is a free idea. Someone send this to Ineos. Someone forward this idea to Ineos. Just off my head. I'm thinking, what if, just what if, 
the moment we sign Manuel Ugate, they just bless us with one free accessible training session, full training session at Man United with all the boys in. Stream it live, uh, allow people to, in person who can afford to go in and be able to watch at Carrington. The proper full training, a full session, not just ASAPs like they share videos. Just allow us just one like this. Trust you me, that could be the most watched video on the internet. It would blow up the internet. I mean, hands down, it would blow up the internet. Imagine with the hunger we've had for Ugate, and now we have such a fully constituted squad. How interesting, with Casemiro playing like the Casemiro signed, with Kobe Maino now fresh and caught, with Bruno uh, right from you know signing his new contract. Trust you me, Man United will be, will, that, that, that would be amazing. In your Sajim Ratcliffe, run away with it, run away with the idea. So, Manuel Ugate, the deal is progressing well, and soon is going to be signed. Now, the next step after, of course, sorting the whole transfer headache and all, um, and of course, cleaning up uh, some players who are likely to leave if they accept the bids that are soon coming in. Uh, Kobe Maino, we do know that they have suspended his uh, uh, contract talks for quite some time. We know that I mean, they, have been long, they have been long overdue because they need to reward him for his top performances and stuff. So the plan for Ineos is to go into proper solid talks with Kobe Maino, try to tie him down a long contract, and the talks have been initiated. So it is expected. Of course, they had started you know, talking, uh, you, to, talking a few, a, a few uh, weeks before uh, the summer transfer window, but now it's something they're going to focus on to get it done and dusted so that Kobe signs his new contract so is Ahmad Diaro because they are certain these are important players for the future. I'm very sure even Alejandro Ganacho, never mind him having a long contract already, he's not on good wages, honestly. I think, uh, but anyway, if we will still have to wait a bit longer. But the two important ones are Kobe and Ahmad Diaro, whose contracts are going to be expedited so that they try to tie them down to longer ones. So that's what's going on at Man United. So busy, interesting days are coming up, guys. Uh, be excited. Now, we've also signed a young player, and of course, I know this is not the player you would have wanted us to sign now. I know you're all about Manuel Ugate, Manuel Ugate, Manuel Ugate, da -da Ugate, oh, Ugate, Manuel Ugate, da -da Ugate, Manuel Ugate. But no, Man United has, uh, ha agree has agreed a deal to sign a, a Malian a player, a, a, a young um, um, Malian uh, you know, a player, uh, who is, uh, of course, uh, seen as viewed as a one for the future. Is a uh, born of 2006, is it? I mean, one uh, just just like you see uh, Chido Obi Martin. Uh, it's the same story. We have agreed to sign. Uh, it's called the Mali International. It's called Seku Kone from Guidas FC, and uh, the deed is done. So that's that's one for the future. Kone was on the list of several clubs, but United have agreed a deal today. You see how we've got the allure for top talent, young talent. Remember, we missed out on players like Jude Bellingham. Arling Haaland because we are not attractive. Our talent football wasn't attractive for them. But now we have having it that players who are nurtured in Arsenal will turn down long contracts with Arsenal and choose to join Man United. It shows you we've got the power. We've got the power. That, that was an ad, right? I got the power. Remember that ad when you were kids, I think. I don't know. I mean, you know, just rang a bell in my head. But yeah, we've signed this kid who is considered a top talent. And of course, a long-term plan uh, that uh, is similar to that of Chido Obi Martin. So that's pretty much what's going on. But we do know that Emmanuel Ugate, the meetings are going on. They are still meeting the two parties, uh, Man United and the players' side, and, and, and rather, and, and PSG plus the players' side, of course, are all meeting to discuss and conclude on a loan deal with an obligation to buy Emmanuel Ugate. So the bags have been packed, and soon Ugate will be at Carrington. Trust you me, Man United fans will need security. Yo. We will need security. We will need security. Subscribe, like, and share. And soon, that man will be touching down with them bugs. Let me catch you later, fam. Peace, love, and harmony.